Sir, remember to put time lapse in when you're editing this. Yeah, absolutely. No, I'm talking to you in the future when you're editing this. <laughs> you're talking to me in the future. Yeah, right? when, you're, when you're editing this video, oh. make sure to put it a time lapse. Yeah, like So, timbre is like the voice of an instrument. So, timbre is what makes like a piano and a trumpet playing the same note sound different. Like, same note, but there's going to be different higher harmonics present in a piano, say, than there is when you blow the same note on a trumpet. So, it's what gives us, what's what gives each instrument its unique sound. <clears throat> And one really easy way of understanding that is just to think about like an open pipe and a closed pipe both playing the same fundamental note. So it might look something like that if we had an open pipe and a closed pipe and say that these two frequencies were identical, like we had the open pipe the right length and the closed pipe, the right length of the fundamental was the same frequency on both of them. So they both have the same um, F1 at like the first harmonic. What's, what's going to happen to the frequency as we jump into here? Can't happen. On this one? Oh, no. Yeah. Double. Double. So this is 2 uh, F north. 2 times F north. Yes, yeah, so we're going to, sorry, the resonant frequency, like the fundamental one, F0. So that's going to be two times the fundamental one. What are these going to be? Three F0. This one here. Four. Four F0. And these ones are five F0. So what's going to be the difference between the sound produced by the closed pipe and the sound produced by the open pipe? This one's got odd, um, odd multiples of the fundamental, whereas this one's got odd and even multiples. What's that going to sound like, though? What might that be? This one will be more full, exactly. This is going to have a, a fuller, richer sound because it's got more possible frequencies that are excited when you blow it, whereas this one's got about half the number of frequency, so it's not going to sound as rich, as full as this one. So that's a really easy way of understanding what timbre is. Obviously there's a whole lot more to it about the design of instruments and like physically what their structure looks like, what they're made of, and how those different elements resonate. That changes how they sound, but on a really like simple level we can see that an open pipe and a closed pipe playing the same note are going to sound different. So when when we blow the fundamental, remember that it's not just the fundamental that we're hearing, but that layered on top of it, we're also going to hear the first overtone, the second overtone, the third overtone, the fourth overtone, all playing at the same time as the fundamental. Because those are all like okay solutions. They all have antinodes at the open ends, and so all of those things can happen simultaneously. So when we blow that that fundamental note, we get all of those right up to number infinity. And the same with this one, when we blow that, we hear all of those right up to number infinity. But there's about half as many of those, so it's just not going to sound as rich. Half of infinity. Yeah. 